How this alert has changed her routine. For one, she says having to purchase water has been an inconvenience. WXVT's Denise Turner has more. That's right, Lakia. Saturday's passing storm knocked out water pumps to thousands. Now the town is under a boil water order until they get it clear from Jackson. So that we cannot control because that was God doing. You know, we had some uh, some light pole. And a uh, line got broke down and everything because a uh, straight line wind came through. The act of God is forcing Mount Bayou residents to boil water or buy it. One of the problems residents tell me of having to buy the bottled water, it's big, it's bulky, and it's quite costly. It's definitely inconvenient because we have to go to Walmart and buy water. Now as residents do their part, the Department of Water Works is collecting water samples and sending them off to Jackson for testing. Isaiah Peterson says he and his family store water in cases of emergencies just like this one. The possibility is the whole town possibly will get sick. You know, we never know what the water is contaminated or not. But one thing is for sure, Peterson says he can't wait for a positive result. As soon as the water is okay, you save money because you spend money running down the road to buy water. It's not quite clear how long it will take Jackson to return the results. Live in the studio, Denise Turner, WXVT, your Delta News. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, Denise. We're well, continuing your Delta coverage. Greenville Mayor Eric Simmons says he wants to pay employees more. Despite the city budget being more than a million dollars in the hole, the city of Greenville began sessions today to look at the budget in every aspect. The mayor urging that employees see either a 3 or 5% increase, which could take the city's debt to $2.5 million. The council is doing an outstanding job in making necessary cuts to reduce the waste and wasteful spending in the city. And so we hope to go into the next year with a uh, budget surplus, uh, if not a, a balanced budget uh, to move the city forward. And official budget cuts have not been made at this time, but more sessions will take place. Meantime, a 3% increase will cost the city approximately $440,000, while a 5% bump will cost $770,000 from the budget. Simmons continues to say employees are overworked and underpaid and tells us there hasn't been a salary increase since 2009. Power is back on for about 800 Entergy customers in the Greenville area who were without electricity over the weekend. According to Entergy spokesman Gerald Husband, the areas affected the most were along Highway 82 just east of Reed Road. The strong storms toppled trees and damaged power lines. A homeowner says a lightning strike struck a transformer near Bowman, causing the outage. Power crews were out all Sunday afternoon working to restore lost power. All power has been restored. In the event you do not have electricity or urge to call 1-800-ENTERGY.